we forgot to do a close-up so I want to put that in the beginning of this video amazing cool cells And we didn't put no silicone in it either. Super cool. And he started to go upward across it, which eh, I was kind of worried about that, but it worked out good. Very cool. So yeah, it turned out really awesome, man. Love it. I love it. Okay. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing good happy because I get to make my son a clock. Well, he's actually going to help him us. <laughs> I messed that all up. So, my son Daniel's 31. He's awesome. Hello. Oh, oh, there goes the buzzer. Hold on a minute. I'm here. That'll talking to us if they don't turn it off. Okay. So, he wants a black and white clock. Yep. And there goes the air conditioner. That's all good. So, we're going to start with the black one. There he is, right there. He don't want to be filmed, though, just like me. I don't mind. Well, then stick your head underneath there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got our black and white artist loft filled with two parts flow trowel, one part paint and water. And I went ahead and I cleaned this album down with some alcohol rubbing alcohol just to remove the oils so the paint can stick properly in case there's finger marks. Years ago, let's see who this guy is anyway. Oh my God, this some old fart. No. Greatest <laughs> <laughs> Gang and orchestra. March from the River Kwai. <laughs> well, where's the year? Is there a year on it? Yeah. Turn it over. This should be somewhere. Uh, I have no idea. You know what? This is the one album I could not find the year on. Well, it'll be at the bottom somewhere. I couldn't find it on this one. Huh. It's just a copyright somewhere, but this one I couldn't find it. Yeah, right. I don't see it anywhere. Somebody will tell us. Yeah? Around. Oh, yeah, they'll know. Mitch Miller. I've heard of him before. So, let's see. The Yellow Rose of Texas. Sounds like he's it's country. The Bowery Grenari, Gren, Grenadiers? Grenadiers. Grenadiers. Oh, my gosh. Song for the Summer Night. Silly Little Tune. Is that the Children's Marching Song? Oh, Knick Knack Patty Whack. Do, Re, Mi, Hey, Betty, Martin, Bonnie, Elise, Walking Down the Washington, Hey, Little Baby. Okay, so he's a pretty old guy there, probably. This is an oldie, but a goodie, I'm sure. A lot of people like him. Alright, so we'll get started. So we need five ounces for a 12 by 12. So he's going to do the pouring. And I'll just do the, get it in there. So when you do black and white, you know black is really prominent. So you want to kind of go easy on the black. And we just need five ounces. And that's up to this line because I already measured it. So is it just strictly black and white? Yeah. You don't use any other, like... Well, you don't want it any other color. So I was like, I was thinking you would have like a different shade of white or black but it's just only two colors huh yeah huh. when you want black and white you want black and white 
whoops, that's too much black now, see? I have to be really generous with this white until it gets up there. There we go, five ounces. Put that chopstick in that black one so it don't dry up. Okay. Yeah, that's my lid. Um, yeah, I got a mess here because I'm not going to bother cleaning it. So then we're just going to give it a slight swirl. Well, a good little squishy swish. But yeah, you don't want too much black because that will take over. Okay, so what you're going to do, you've saw seen me pour many times. Hey, do you, you make, want me to pour? You or? make it look easy. I'll give it a shot. Okay, you're just going to go in an S shape with, you know, and you're going to go as wide as it is, but don't dump it a whole lot. Okay. Start right. from the top. Angle this way, sideways. Well, I guess it don't matter. All right, here we go. There you go. Good job. I have to do no back and forth stuff. I mean, can I go back at the same? No, not uh, not <laughs> not this way because it's gonna look funky. It's all good. Well, it's pretty much empty. That's cool. That'll be good. Okay. So now you're just going to kind of tilt it around a little to get those naked spots to get together. Okay. It's hard to tell. Stay in the screen, too. It's hard to tell how much I want to tilt it. Don't want to go off the edges. This is not that necessary. All right, there. That's good. Okay. Lay it down. That's it? Yep. Not yet. We're not tilted yet. Torch a little. So what does the torch do again? It just brings out the cells? Yeah, it'll bring some cells out and it pops the bubbles that draws the cells out. Look at those little white things pop up. Yeah, that's the bubbles that was in the paint. But look at all the cool cells you're getting on there. Oh, so now cool. you're just gonna do what I had told you. You're gonna pick it up and you're gonna tilt Okay. All right, well, let me see. Let's, Let's see. do this end first. Then we'll do this end. And then just go around in that circle. See, watch right here. And what, once it reaches the edge, just go the other way? Then, then turn. See? Oh, right, yeah, let me see. Let me do that. So let me do this side first. Starts going over the. It's that one not didn't... over the edge yet. I'm working on it. Okay, now turn. There. there you go. You totally feel that the paint is like, like the perfect type of thickness, where you can control exactly where you want it to go. I don't like that area there, but that's okay. Well, you can like just keep going and get Stop. it off, right? No, just keep going around in a circle here. You haven't yeah. gotten these edges. Well, we can fix that too if we don't like it. But I really dig it so far. This here is the bomb. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, why can't you just go over here if you don't like that part and just keep stretching? You it? can. Well, let's keep stretching and see what happens. I don't want it real thin though. That's good. I like it the way it's there, looking now. That? Yeah, keep going if you want. I think it's cool though. I like it like this. Me too. So now, we, but we do have to center it back to the middle because you have to have it centered. Okay. Do you like it? Yes. Absolutely. I like it too. I think it's really cool. I love this. It's going to be a cool clock. So you got all your edges. Then you want to go around your at bottom like that, just lightly. Don't get the top now. Yeah, you don't want to like you know, mess up your pattern. So then what we're going to do after it dries is, what I do guys, is I go to Goodwill or the thrift stores.
there in that air conditioner, and I talk too loud because of it. And I take, I buy a dollar ninety nine clock, and I take them apart, get the parts. <clears throat> and then these are already black, so that's gonna look awesome. Yeah, that's gonna look really cool. Really cool. And let's say like my brown one I did yesterday. I mean the the bronze and the gold. You can take these and you can paint them gold or bronze too. You know, the um, hands. Okay? So yeah, don't go buying brand new kits at Michael's because you can get them for a dollar ninety nine, take them apart and get they work. And then what I'm going to do with Daniel's here instead of you can get these too at Michael's. And these are 40% uh, off right now. So this is only $2 for these nice black beads. They're glass beads. So the kits, the movement kits at Michael's are like $10 for the whole set with the numbers. I really dig this. Yeah. And, you know, we don't need numbers. So I'm figuring we're just going to put these around it as your numbers. That'd be cool. I think so, too. And so, yeah, that'll be your 12, a 1, 2, 3, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. And there's just enough in there. How many come in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. 13, 14, 15. So, yeah, that'll even look cooler. So, with the black hands and these as your numbers, which we don't need because we know clocks, it's going to look bomb. So, when, when it's dry, we'll put it together. This turned out really good. It's really good. There's no silicone in here, and we got cells galore. I thought I was going to mess it up, but... It's not hard. Poor painting good. is not that hard. And a lot of people will say, oh, you're an artist. Poor painting. You know what? It's a craft. It yeah. doesn't take... You don't have to be an artist. I mean, I'll say this. It is a simple technique to do it, but it takes a, a skilled hand to be able to... Understand it's pretty like, easy, your mixtures though. and all that stuff. Right, the mixtures and all that is you have to learn, but it's easy pouring paint. I mean, if you have heard people say it a hundred times, how hard can it be? Well, I mean, it looks awesome. I like it. Yeah, let me pause this just for a second here. So there, I took out that paint in the hole there, and I actually did put. I forgot to show them how I lay it on the plate. Well, you don't... I'll have to show it to you guys. You can look at my other videos of the albums. And you'll see how I do it on the plate. I well, attach a cup to the plate. One of these cups. Don't do it over the painting. And then just tape on the side. That's it. Yeah. I tape it to the record. It's just easier. That way you don't get the bottom of the record real filthy full of paint. That's the only reason I do it. It's actually kind of cool because right where the hole is on the album, you even have like some uh, like cells going around that yeah, too. Yeah, this one turned out awesome. That's very cool. That's good. All right, so that's it for this one. And you got yourself a clock. And I'm glad it turned out really good and white. With good, prominent, dark black, mm -hmm. you know? And when we put the hands on it and those stones, this is going to look cool, huh? I'm so happy I can't I like wait. It. Yeah, me too. I like it too. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're doing good. Take it easy. Bye-bye.